Hello, my name is Fox Bear, a member of the Kano community. Now there are tons of amazing creations made by people all over the world in the Star Wars The Force coding kit. There's this, and this, and this. And in honour of May the 4th, Star Wars Day, I wanted to show you how to make a showdown between Rey and Kylo Ren. We'll be playing with music, controlling volume with a wave of your hand, and asking you to choose between the light side and the dark side of the force. Are you ready? Let's start by clicking the create button. This opens up the sandbox. Now, to make my scene, first I need to add Kylo Ren and Rey. So what I'm gonna do is uh, open the objects tray, and I'm gonna grab the object create block, and add it to my when app starts event. There we go. Um, and then I'm going to pick Kylo Ren from this drop down list. Where is he? There he is. Uh, I've decided to go with Kylo Ren from The Rise of Skywalker. There we go. Next up, I'm going to add Ray. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing go to the object block, drop that in under here, and then find Ray from the drop down list. There she is. Now what I want to do is make Kylo and Ray move as we move our hand over the sensor. So because we're going to be animating Kylo and Ray, we'll need a loop. So I'm going to open up the control tray and grab an every one second block. There we go. And just drop that there. So anytime you want to animate something, you'll need to put it in a loop so the code is running over and over to make it move. So we need to make it move a little bit faster, so I'm going to change seconds to frames. And just like any cartoon or animation, every second is made up of 24 frames. And because we're going to be moving Ray and Kylo, I'm going to open the physics tray and grab the object lerp block. So I'm going to be focusing on Ray first, and I'm going to select Ray from the drop down list here. Now I want her to move when I move my hand left and right over the sensor. So I'm going to grab a code block from the force kit tray. And because I want her to move left and right, I'm going to grab the force kit pointer X block. Now if I drop it here, she'll move left and right, as you can see I'm moving my hand here now, through the X axis. So as I move my hand right on the sensor, she moves right, and as I move my hand left on the sensor, she moves left. But what we want to do is make sure that she's on the ground, so let's change her Y position to 420, and that will position her on the floor there. Now let's do exactly the same for Kylo Ren. Okay. You know, there's a little problem. As you can see, they're both on top of each other. This is because they're both anchored to the force kit pointer, this little cross in the middle here. As I move my hand over the sensor, that's the cursor that I'm controlling, and they're anchored to that cross. So we need to separate them a little bit. So we're going to use a little bit of math to do that. So let's open the math tray, and let's grab this block here. Now I'm going to pull out the force kit pointer block and I'm going to add it into this math block here. I'm going to make sure this says add and I'm going to change the number to 150. This means that Ray will be 150 pixels to the right of the pointer. Look what happens when I put this block into her X position. See, she moves 150 pixels to the right. So we're going to do the same for Kylo Ren. But what we're going to do is make sure that this add button says subtract. So when we drop it in, he moves 150 pixels to the left. Finally, we're going to change the lerp percentage to 50% on both blocks. And as you'll see, as we move our hand left and right, both characters move left and right across the screen. Pretty cool. Now it's time to add the music. First we need to create a variable. 
So I'm going to go to the variables tray. I'm going to grab set item block. So a variable will enable us to create a single value that we can add to other code blocks and it will reduce the amount of code we need to, we need to create. So I'm going to drop it in into the loop. And this means that the variable will be updating every frame. Then we need to give our variable a name. So I'm going to click on set the item drop down here. I'm going to click create variable and I'm going to give it the name music x. Now I want the variable to change depending on where my hand is over the sensor. So let's grab our old friend, open the force kit tray and grab the force kit pointer x block. And I also want to open the math tray and grab our little number block here. Add the force kit pointer x block into here. Change add to divide and make this number 8. And I'm going to add that to the variable block. So what we've done here is set our variable, which we've called music x, to the position of the force kit pointer. So depending on where this pointer is and where the characters are, the variable will change. Now it's time to add the dark side and the light side music. So I'm going to click on this add parts button. And this brings up a load of different parts that I can be using everything from microphones to the mouse uh, to text. What I need are the speaker code blocks. So I'm going to click on speaker And the speaker tray is how we play with sound. It's full of all the code blocks for uh, sound effects, for music. It helps us control the volume or the pitch of a sound. Uh, I, I really love this part. But we're going to need two. One for the light side and one for the dark side. And so we don't get lost, we're going to change the name of our speakers. So if I click on here, speaker, and change this to light side and then click on speaker 2 and change it to whoops change it to dark side you can see that the names of those two speakers have updated in the tray on the left hand side here so we've got light side and dark side speakers now we're going to be controlling the volume of the music, making it louder and quieter as we move our hand left and right. So we want to open the light side tray and grab the light side volume block. And then we'll drop that into our loop. Now we want to create a smooth transition from loud to quiet. So to do that, we're going to open the math tray and we're going to grab this lerp block. And we're going to connect that to our light side volume block. I'm going to change the numbers here to 140 and this number to 0. This block will change the volume from 140% to 0. Uh, I picked 140% because the light side music is a little quieter and we want to make it louder than 100%. Now we open the variable tray and we grab the item block and we add that to the end of our alert block. That's because we want the volume to be controlled by the variable that we set. So we're going to change this item to music X. And now we're going to do exactly the same thing for the dark side music. So what we're going to do here is make sure the first number stays a zero and make sure the second number changes to 100. We're going to grab our variable block, add that in here, and then make sure it says music X. This will mean that the dark side volume is the opposite to the light side volume. Now here comes the noisy bit. Let's test it with some music. So we're going to open the light side tray, and I'm going to grab a light side loop. And I'm going to drop that outside of our every one frames loop. There are tons of music and sound effects to pick from, but I'm going to pick the light side theme music and then I'm going to select the strings loop. 
that as I move my hand left and right, you can hear that the music gets louder as I move my hand to the left, and Ray pushes Kylo Ren out of the way. But the dark side needs to fight back. So I'm going to add a dark side loop, and I'm going to pick the brass. Now as I move my hand right, the dark side music gets louder and Kylo Ren pushes Ray off the screen. But if I move my hand left, the light side music gets louder again. And if I take my hand away, both music are playing at equal volume and both characters sit in the centre of the screen. Now as a final touch, I'm going to add the full light side and dark side orchestra. The brass, the woodwind, the percussion. There we go. So which side will you choose? Now, I'm gonna set you a little challenge. How can you change the code to make it different? Can you change the characters? Can you change the sounds? <laughs> Give it a try, have some fun. And may the fourth be with you.